Hi, this will be a tutorial video on how to use the Windows Panopto recorder to record content for your Canvas course. Panopto is Yale's platform for both lecture capture and video content management within Canvas. In Canvas, it is commonly referred to as the Media Library. To begin recording, the first step is to navigate to your Canvas course. From your left-hand course navigation, select Media Library. This brings you to the area where you can add media and students can find the content that has been added to your course. From the top of this window, and you see a button that says Create. <clears throat> when you select Create, you see the option to record a new session. Selecting that will open up a menu where you can download the Panopto recorder if you don't have it installed already. And this is available for both Windows and Mac. And if you already have it installed, your browser will prompt you to open the Panopto recorder. Selecting Open Panopto recorder will now launch the recorder software. Once in the Panopto recorder, you have several options for both what you would like to capture and how you would like that content to appear. Starting from the top, we see under session settings, um, an entry for folder. If you launch the recorder from your Canvas course, this will automatically select the folder associated with your course in Canvas. Underneath that is a field that says name. Um, this is where you can customize a name for this specific recording. The Panopto recorder has the ability to record both video and screen capture of your computer. Primary sources is where you'll select the devices you want to use to capture um, your primary video. As you can see here, there's a preview window um, from whatever device you select, and underneath that are options for which devices you'd like to use. For video, if you click on the drop-down menu, you'll see that you can select whichever device you'd like to capture video from. Similarly, with audio, if you have multiple devices, you can choose the one that you'd like to use here. there's an option to capture computer audio. This is important if you plan on showing any content that also contains audio. Having this checked off will ensure that that audio is captured in your video and then displayed to students. Under primary sources are your options for secondary sources. This is what will be captured along with your video. As you can see, capture main screen is checked off and on the right hand side, we both see main screen indicated up top, and we see screen capture in progress in the window. If you'd like to confirm what is being captured, you can check off enable screen capture preview, and that brings up a preview window um, of your desktop. If you would like to record a different source, um, say an additional webcam, um, or if you have another device connected to your computer, Clicking add another video source will allow you to choose another device uh, to be recorded along with your video. If you plan on only capturing video, you can unselect capture main screen and then only your video source for the primary source will be captured. Similarly, if you'd only like to capture your screen and not a webcam video, you can ena enable capture main screen, and then under video for primary sources, you can select none. This will then just capture your audio from your audio source and your screen capture. For now, we'll leave our webcam enabled. Up top next to session settings, uh, we see the button that says record. Selecting that will begin the recording. And as soon as you see stop and pause, your video is now recording. And you see a counter here as well that lets you know that the recording has begun. 
If you'd like to take a break during your recording, but not stop the recording, you can select pause and it notifies you your recording is paused. Clicking again will resume your recording. If you're capturing your screen, at this point, you can minimize the recorder and navigate to the content you'd like to display. For example, we have a slide here in Google Slides that you could then present. The recorder is now capturing your screen and it is still capturing your webcam video. When you'd like to stop your recording, just go back to the Panopto recorder and select stop. It will notify you that your recording is complete and you also have the ability to change the session name here as well. And it will also confirm which folder this will be located in. Here you can also give a description to your video. And if you want to record again, you can select delete and record again. Otherwise, select done. That takes you to your manage recording page. And we see under currently uploading recordings, we have the session we just recorded. When the session has finished uploading, you're free to close the recorder. Now, navigating back to your Canvas course, when we refresh the media library, we now see the video we just recorded um, in the media library, and it just takes a little bit of time to process that recording before it's available for viewing. Once the video has finished processing, you can see that the recording name turns into a blue selectable link and clicking on that link opens the video. And we can see that the recording that we just, we just did um, is now displayed with both your webcam video on the left hand side and your screen capture on the right hand side. And that is how um, you can record content for your Canvas course using the Windows Panopto Recorder. Thank you.